Summer Shines, and we have a dream of moving ourselves, our kiddos, and our kitties onto a boat and doing the Great American Loop. <laughs> but first, we gotta find a boat. So this is episode 13, 13 of V B S. That one was <laughs> especially aggressive. Solid, yes. I was gonna say solid. I think aggressive might be a better fit. Okay, so what are we looking at today? So today for our Great Loop Vessel, we are going to look at what people have been um, suggesting for us to look at, and that would be a power cat. Power cat. Yes, we've had um, a number of suggestions. We love the suggestions, by the way. Those are awesome. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for all the fun comments. Um, we love a power cat. Oh, uh, I love a power cat. And we've been on catamarans sailing in the BVI, and the space is fantastic. I want a silent yacht. Yes, silent yacht. Dreams. That's this boat right here. Oh, it's so good. And anyway, it's, it's so much until the silent yacht for the loop, we're going to look at an Aquila 44. So in order to do the loop, if you haven't watched our other videos, you have to be under 19 feet, six inches um, <clears throat> from the water line up to the tallest your point of your air loop, height. Your air height. And you can't, from the water line down, you can't be any deeper than six feet, preferably less than five feet. Our goal would be four and a half feet or less. And that is so, our draft. That's our draft, yes. yes. So. Um, that limits the boats we can look at, and Mark has found a power cat that meets those requirements, correct? Well, there's another limiting factor that when you get into power cats, they're very beamy. Oh, how wide so, can you be? 25 feet wide? 23 feet. So that really, people say look at the power cats, but um, that's why we're looking at an Aquila 44, because I think it's right at 23 feet wide. Because it's the on the Great Chute, which is a tram that takes you up and over a piece of land. I think the widest they can accommodate is 23 feet. You I think, think or you know? Well, we will we will look it up. Do, 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 if it is the case, and I am right, which sometimes I am, then that is the one limiting factor. Everything else becomes kind of an inconvenience. So if you're wider than 23 feet and you pull into a marina, they're gonna put you on the T-Dock, which is on the end of the dock. It's not the end of the world, but you kind of become a problem if you're pulling in late at night and you're trying to get a slip and you say, by the way, we're on a 23 foot wide power cat. And they're like, ooh, I'm not sure we have room for you. It's much better to pull in on a mono hull and say we're 15 to 17 feet wide and they don't have to worry about you. According to captainjohn.org, mm -hmm. 23 feet and less. I was right. Yeah. See, it does happen sometimes. <laughs> so, and CaptainJohn.org has a lot of great loop facts, by the way. Yeah. So I just Googled that. I mean, and the internet never lies. Mm -hmm. So saying. you can be as beautiful, as big of a power cat you want, but if you're wider than 23 feet, you are not going to be able to do the great shoot portion of the loop. So it's going to it's going to be the great U-turn for you. So let's or jump in. Or you can go a different route. You just don't get to do that cool part in Canada. That's true. If you don't go into Canada, but well, you have to go into Canada. You but gotta yeah, go into Canada anyway. to do the just, loop we, and the best part of the loop. We want to be under 23. Can we look at the boat? Yes. <laughs> All right. So it's an Aquila 44, power catamaran. So versus a sail catamaran, there's no sail. It's just two engines, right here on a starboard pontoon. What this is called in a. It's kind of got a sexy stern. Pontoon. I mean, it's got steps down. It's got a table, it looks like. I like it. I like that the tender's kind of out of the way. We should look at the stats. Okay, let's look at the stats. Sorry, right. I jumped right into the boat. It's a 2017, 44 feet. Uh, so it is a true, it's a 44, is a 44. Uh, three cabins. Which is a requirement for us. Three heads, oh. twin diesel, Volvo, inboard engines, not IPS. Ooh, it's got rope cutters for those pesky lobster traps, crab traps. Crab. Um, what else do we have? Bow thruster on a catamaran? That's kind of funny. I'll take it. Where do we have? With. Here we go. B. 21 feet, six inches wide. So that's pretty darn good. Minimum draft. Three foot, three inch without skegs. Three foot, 10 inch with skegs. I don't and know. And bridge clearance, 18 feet, eight inches. We're good, this okay. is our boat, let's and get it. This listing is fantastic because it's giving us oh, yeah. all the dimensions. So many people forget bridge mm -hmm. clearance or details. So it's interesting, the weight, 35,000 pounds, like the Hatter is 54 foot, is 55,000 pounds. So this is 20,000 pounds less. 2,000 pounds is a ton. 
So what is that? Ten? That's five tons less Where than a hatermers. Than a hatters. A hatermers. <laughs> Get the hatermers. <laughs> Fresh water tanks, 180 gallons. Fuel tanks, 290 gallons, which sounds light, but one of the reasons that people love catamarans so much is they're so fuel efficient. I'm assuming that for a monohull, one of our boats that we're, we've Seems been really looking at, light. we are gonna get about a mile per gallon. So if anybody knows comments, we'll look it up, but if anybody comment, comment if you own a cat, power cat and you're saying like, you'll get two miles per gallon. Because if you do, that's twice the so fuel be okay. efficiency. And a holding tank is 63 gallons. Not great. Not None fair. of that's great, but... So anyway, there it is, from the back. What makes a power cat so attractive is the width in between the two pontoon, pontoons. So, uh -huh. mama like you that, right? I love that. I love an aft area with a dining area. Mama also liked the boat across the way, Panacea. <gasps> Look at that. That boat has a <laughs> sexy stern. Yes, please. I think that's too big for us, but I love that. That's a great name, Panacea. So back to the Aquila, looks like a, an adjustable table. There's probably some storage under here. Oh, you got cup holders here. This is a See, countertop. It's got, it's got a little bit of a party board feel. I think uh, what's happening here is this is a ga galley countertop. This is a galley. Okay. And then our davit store, or here's the davit for our tender. So that's easily retrievable. Yeah. Good kids play area. Yep. Good painting area. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's cool. Look, so this window in the galley opens up, and, and that's your backsplash. That the backsplash down. folds down. So we kind of got some transformer boat. I know going. that's some smart. Some galley. That's some smart boat designing right there. Okay, I love that they have their bucket. Ooh, look on. at that! Oh, they, Grill they right there. accessorized. I like it. You know what this has? A griddle in the middle, and it's got much back. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really a griddle? I don't know. It's, it's a, a grill. grill. That's a countertop and a grill. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay, galley looks a little lacking on live aboard items. Okay, we got no proper oven thus far, and I don't know what the I don't dishwasher, think a dishwasher and refrigerator situation is. Two burners. I'm fine with two burners. I just need an oven and but a But it's making up for it with this right here, because that's really cool. Yep. So there's the helm. Is this all one level from the helm to the back aft hangout area? That's the flybridge. That's the fly, the flybridge. I think that we're gonna find that that is a fault with this boat. I do not want to be on a flybridge as my one, at the highest point as I our yeah, surrounded one by metal. helm station, because nasty, like, nasty weather, there's no windshield here. There are yeah, no I'm windshield sure there's wipers. Ice glass that you can zip close, but then there's not a windshield wiper, and then that's just a yeah. Challenge. And we operated a boat with ice and glass and no windshield wiper, and when it's coming down, and only one helm, you have to stop. You can't see anything. Okay. And so I that, know people, you know, <clears throat> people say you don't. You only go when it's good weather, but in Florida, weather can pop up like that. Anywhere, um, anywhere weather can pop up. But like that. you know, you, you're expecting good weather, but things change, so you're gonna get stuck in storms. Yeah. Okay, so I guess this is the master. I love it. Yes. Check. And see what a catamaran has, this kind of sailing pedigree? That's like a sailboat fan, you know? You're kind of always Wait, you circulating air. You know what air. I think of when I see that? An RV. No, I think of no air conditioning. I'm sure it has air conditioning. That's a cool look through. I think you're good. this is the master you step down into the bathroom, bathroom area. I wonder which Look, side. another opposing fan. Oh, you're in heaven. I, I can't am. stand fans. Uh, but I do like those reading lights that's smart what is this door action here oh that looks like it goes up onto the um, like a hatch like a hatch on the back yeah but that's the master bedroom bedroom is that our only door. access huh 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 okay wait 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 rewind 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 so that's the master bedroom stepping down into the closet so you're going down into the I think that's the going to catamaran a catamaran hole. Yeah. But that looks like a dressing area, yeah. vanity. Editing we, editing area. Editing bay. Check out Mark's By the fancy way, I was going to say, what do you think of this lighting? Is this better or worse? I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> we're just going to move around our entire house until we find a really good setup. While yeah. we're off subject, if you want to get this nice looking logo hat that happens to be popping against the nice blue background <laughs> or a mug, go to theboomershines.com and go shopping and uh, come along with us with your 
swag gear. Your sea shine gear? That's hilarious. All right, that's enough shameless promotion. Oh, you're, he, he, yeah. Okay. So this was be maybe a nanny, the, the, the tutor. Okay. That's a nice bedroom. That I is love, really cool. Look at that window. The lovely. The window is lovely. Could you imagine you're underway oh, and we're just plotting oh, along, taking a nap, it. watching the United States go by? I love it. You could see the Statue of Liberty from your... Best nap I've ever taken was on a boat underway when I was pregnant. Oh, it was so good. Uh, here's a shower, but we don't know who shower. Yeah, that would... That's <laughs> this would fall under... Okay. On you, Fire Families. Oh, yeah. On Fire Family did a hilarious episode on what not to do, basically, when posting yeah. boat photos on a listing. Anyway, it's, it's great. It you should check it out. But look at this. That's dedicated dining. Okay. I That's love cool. that. You know I need a dining room. Here's what's going on. Area. This is where we were just here. There's the hatch that's going to the master. Yeah, but why is it a waterproof hatch going to the master? I disagree. I think that's the only way they could make it. Oh. That's the only way they could make it a door. Yeah. Because of the shape of this. So the master is in between in the, the two pontoons and the other... Oh, so other... it's the full width of the... Of yes. the bow of the boat yep. and then the two other staterooms are probably on either side of the back. Yep. Oh, I kind of like that. Everybody has their own space. I wonder what this is. Storage? Yeah, we haven't seen a refrigerator. Are those refrigerator? Oh, there's a refrigerator. Okay. I'm guessing. One thing that's uh, that I'm noticing here is it's great space, but two kids, us two adults, and an additional adult there's not a lot of run around right there's not a there's not a, so for a snuggerific so but wait hold on a second this photo would have been a lot more helpful if it was like after the the to quote on fire family tell us a story uh, if, yeah walk us from the aft area <laughs> we, yeah we got it. forward we got it but yeah this that all would have made we could have made this a whole bunch more concise okay so here we are in the galley okay so we got two drawers for refrigerator freezer looking it looks here like. There is no, you're assume, this is assuming you're going to be in nice weather and your living room is outside. Or outside. Oh. That's cool. So that's how you go from the flybridge to the bow. But once again, we got, now I could probably have, we could have something made that's a hard shell window with a windshield wiper. And then that becomes an extra room. Are and we up top again? We're up no, top we're again. Back. No, we're back to the griddle in the middle, but she got much back. That's the flybridge. So we haven't seen the back aft area? We started in the back aft area, honey. Okay. With the tender hanging down? Yeah, I know, but it, that seems with highly the, elevated off of the water. This is. The other one with the with the um, the bass flash that folded down? Mm -hmm. Welcome to our marriage, we're a repicker. <laughs> we started there. This is up top. Okay. We should, one of us should at least look at these ahead of time. The this raw. is raw. <laughs> But that's okay. This is this is the helm. This is what we got. Okay, and interesting. If you go back, so you've got glass or plastic or you know icing glass that you can zip up around you going Hold on. forward. Okay. There. See, this is a dining table. That's a dining table up there. Yeah, it's and then, yeah, two of the same thing. And then thing. you've got a dining table in the cabin. Go to the picture we said they should. Okay, so like. that's lower. Yes. And this is upper. Uh, it was the same wine bottle and glasses and staging that threw you. I get it. Yeah, it's a little confusing. But you have duplicate of the same thing. So what you're saying is if you wanted to convert this, this is your living room. That's your living room or go to the actual living room inside. There isn't one. Yes, well, it's go past the master. That yeah. is your living room. So there must be a pop-up TV in there. Yep. So you're, Where are the kids going to play? Where are they going to sit on the floor and do their stuff? Um, there's not great floor space. But we haven't even seen the third bedroom yet, so keep going. Alright, so there... okay. Oh! Oh, it's got bar stools! Maybe that's the refrigerator? No, drawers. Two drawers. Okay. That is fun. I really love it, though. And that's very smart design. That's cool. Mm-hmm. But how do you build a permanent window here with a windshield washer if this is your... You don't. There is no windshield wiper. I mean, windshield wiper. I know, but I was thinking you could get one made, but that would always be in the way. But that's really cool right there. I think there. this is more party aboard than live aboard, as I like to say. Have we not seen the third stateroom? Nope. Or the third bathroom? Nope. <laughs> 
Uh, you didn't fast forward through any? Nope. Okay, well. <laughs> Let's look at another one. This one's sold. Maybe they have better pictures. Okay, same thing. Same thing. Oh, look, they're having a party up top. Party. Okay. Same. Great um, flybridge. Okay, see? Nice. They put some teak on their stairs or yep. that. What do you call that smushy teak? Not Faux teak. teak. New teak. Okay, there's that. That's the snuggerific mm -hmm. living room. That's the same galley. But it's got, I like the lighter countertop. Oh, oh they got an inside oh. helm here. So, so that we makes a difference. So looked at the wrong model. We want one with an inside helm. Okay, there's the master. Yep, we know how that works now. That's their editing room. It's kind of cool. More master. Show us the stateroom. Master head, maybe? Guessing. That's nice. Okay. Same. Okay, so I think it's a three stateroom, three cabin. So you've got the master, you've got this, and, and a mirror is on the other side, because we saw the other one. Okay, which isn't ideal for twins. Two beds for our, both of our kids. Now we could reconfigure that to make it work for our kids. Like two kids can, and you give each kid a pontoon, that would be really cool. Amazing. Like if your kids were older and you didn't have a tutor with you? Yeah, teenagers, be fantastic. So that's the other side. Is that that's bed a, a little great, larger? That's a great room. No, I don't think so. Okay, I love the outside back <clears throat> space of this boat. I mean, you could totally do the loop on it, but I don't... It's not living. It, I think it'd be harder to be that wide, and there's not great just floor space, living space. So it checks all the other boxes. Yeah, if the weather's perfect, you are so happy. If you got bad weather, you're stuck I'm griping about not being able to see, going out and doing dock lines, or... Okay, so do you put this on the maybe or the no? I put it on the no. Okay. I think it... Uh, there are too many negatives for, for the, the great positives for the, the loop. loop. It's an amazing boat. If we I lived think... in Florida and we wanted to have a boat to go and, and run about and, and do some stuff. This is a fantastic option. But as a liveaboard, for the loop for us, active cruising, I don't think it works for us. So if one of us gives it a no, I think that should just be like the executive veto. So the Aquila so we wanted this to work. Is awesome, but it's a fantastic boat before living aboard for the loop and active daily cruising for, for a year to a year and a half. It's too tight. Yeah. Okay. What should we look at next? Let us know. We have a we have an, a list that we're going down. So um, give us your suggestions and we'll work our way through. And for every boat we say no, we're closer to a yes. <laughs> our boat is out there somewhere. Can you hear it? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Shine on. Thanks for watching.